Hey guys, this is Alois and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're gonna talk about my current workout routine for back plus biceps and core and uh, I did switch up my workout routine. I was focusing recently on front lever tucks and stuff like that for the front lever training but I did switch it up because I want to increase my pull-up reps and I have the challenge where I, I want to improve my rep count my maximum amount of reps in one set in one month but I don't do pull-ups every day so take a notice of that I do pull-ups twice a week so I do them let's say on Monday and the next time I will do them is after Wednesday I will take rest in Tuesday Wednesday and then on Thursday I will do another workout so in terms of workout this was an excellent workout i'm progressing i set a couple of new pbs in my endurance when i did this type of workout which you will see in this video i wasn't able to actually do all sets of 10 without the bands and now i'm able to do them and i even did uh, 11 reps in uh, one or two sets and I, I will show that so i'm very happy with the progress i'm trying to get a bit leaner a bit lighter as always but it's very difficult for me as you know and I'm still trying to do that and I'm really focusing on the diet and at the moment it's go going uh, well so uh, I'm really hoping to get those 25 reps at the end of the 30 days challenge and uh, I think I will do it I will think I will get those two extra reps because I'm really feeling that I'm progressing and uh, it's nice so the idea of this workout is to do 10 reps in a normal pull-up grip that I usually do then I do 10 reps in very wide grip as you can see when I take the wide grip set I place my arms as wide as they can pretty much be that is actually comfortable for me it's quite difficult but at the same time very effective and it activates a lot of lats and then after the wide grip pull-ups I switch up to close grip pull-ups which focuses more on traps and biceps and stuff like that so I'm hitting a lot of different muscles by doing the same exercise just by switching the width of my hands and uh, I do recommend for you guys to do the same and um, I'm doing 10 sets like these if we count the set at the end of the workout so basically I did 3 sets normal grip, wide grip close grip and then I do the same thing three circuits that is 90 reps and pull-ups in all together and then I do as a finisher 10 explosive reps but in this workout I did explosive reps with the mus uh, with the band I did one rep the explosive pull-up and the next the muscle up just to see but it was very difficult after all those pull-ups but I still did pretty decent and after that I did 10 chin-ups, very clean form as well, so I'm really happy about the results. The weather though was really bad at the, at the end of the workout, so I was really happy to just finish the workout as fast as possible, because it was getting very cold. So those were the things that I like to mention, and yeah. So we have a little bit more than 10 days still in the challenge, so I will do a ladder workout next. And then I probably will do something like this again. And then we have the date that I will try to set a new PB. And after we do this challenge, I will start doing front levers again. I can't really do both together because they feel like uh, very difficult to do them together. Because if I do pull-ups, I don't just have enough strength left to do some front lever training. And if I start with the front lever training, then I can't really do very well in pull-ups, so I can't really do both. But I still can focus on other muscle groups uh, as well, so don't get me wrong. I don't just do pull-ups like a lot of people have been asking me. How did you increase your pull-ups from 2 to 20 and stuff like that? Did you do pull-ups every day? And the answer to that question is no. And I also don't do just one muscle group like, like back. I also train bi biceps, triceps, chest, traps, legs, everything, abs. So keep in mind, I do all muscle groups. And tomorrow I will be doing some chest 
pulse triceps and so on so just be sure to follow me on uh, instagram on tiktok just check out my youtube stories i am posting everything there so you can see how i train i do some cardio i run quite a lot actually i'm doing cardio sessions like let's say 10 kilometers per session stuff like that and if you follow me you will know that so you won't have to ask questions like that so you won't be confused because i'm really trying to help you guys and if there's some stuff that i don't know i'm usually asking you guys for advice and i usually receive great advice because there are a lot of people who follow me who are very experienced in calisthenics and i just love that i do have a lot of experience myself but there's always room to learn i don't know everything and most likely never will so it's great to have conversations to listen to other people's opinions and then just decide what's better for you just test it out just think about so yeah i'm always listening to advice and hopefully you will guys will correct me if i'm doing something wrong or will give me advice how to progress faster and so on so i'm really thankful for all these tips that i received and when i get injured uh, the shoulder when I had the shoulder injury at the September if I'm not mistaken I got a lot of great comments of healing faster There were people praying for my recovery and I'm really grateful for stuff like that That's really awesome. And that is one of the main reasons that I love to do this video stuff the YouTube. So thank you guys and Yeah If you like to see more videos like this what, like, what type of videos would you like to see? Just let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what do you think of my progression and so on. And thank you guys for watching this video. And I see you guys in the next one.